Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be trying to find a dupe to this shade from the Pat McGrath Moonlit Seduction Palette. It is the SEX to C shade. It is not an astral shade. These two are astral shades, but this one is such a beautiful duochrome. It has a very beautiful texture to it. Now, of course, you might only be interested in color dupes, just trying to get the same color, and you might not necessarily care about the texture and the finish, but we are going to be diving into that a little bit because that is something that I found generally with some shadows from Pat McGrath, specifically the astral shades, but some other shades, they just feel really luxe and beautiful. They just have their own texture, and that usually means that they have a special finish. So I have a bunch of these single lash shadows from different indie brands as well as one more mainstream brand which is Urban Decay. This is one of the Moon Dust shades and this palette is on sale right now on the Pat McGrath website. So first we're going to look at some swatch comparisons and then the shade that I think is the closest in color and texture I'm going to be putting directly on the lid to compare with the Pat McGrath shadow and the mattes to see if you were able to see a difference once they're on the lid. Now I wish I could do that with all the shadows but I unfortunately do not have the time and my lids would really not appreciate that so we're just going to stick with the looks and I'm just going to show you application of the shimmer shadow. So let's get right Right into the swatches. So I'm picking up the Pat McGrath shade and you can see oh my god it's so beautiful. Let's just get a little up close and personal because this shade is so beautiful. Yes it's a very common kind of shadow but that is for a good reason because it just looks really stunning. It's just so easy to use and this shadow does have a shift so it has a reddish brown base and a almost greenish teal reflect depending on the kind of lighting you're looking at this under and then it does shift to that purple at an angle there. So I'm going to be putting that right up on my wrist and you can see that it shears out a little bit. So you can really see the base color now and it looks very, very red actually. And then here's what that looks like on my finger. It's just so smooth and so beautiful. So I'm going to be comparing it with this Solstice shade from Urban Decay. And this baby will set you back, I think like $22 which is quite a bit. And this one is definitely going to be sheer. I can already tell it's less sparkly just by swatching it. But color wise, definitely very, very similar, both the same kind of base and reflect, but I am going to be layering on a little bit more just to get it built up. It is less shiny, which is a little shocking because I think these mood shadows are kind of known to be like really sparkly, especially from a more mainstream brand. But you can see that there's a bit less shine going on. Next up here is Mystic Moon Pie. This shadow is, I believe, $8, and it's from Davina Cosmetics. And I thought this one might be a good one, but I can tell the, uh, the tone's a little bit different, at least from my angle, it looks like it. But it's very, very similar in texture and in sparkle. I actually think that it might have more sparkle going on, even though they're both really shiny. The Davina shadow just has a little bit more sparkle to it, if that makes sense. Like right here, the way it just glistens, it's maybe a little less smooth all the way across and maybe a little bit more PC. Next up is Frozen Waves, and this is one of the new shades from Davina. And I don't think this one's going to be too, too similar. Yeah, it's a, a bit more like really, really purple and it doesn't have that reddish brown base and you can really easily see that. Um, it's pretty different, but it is so shiny, still really beautiful. Next up is Asteria, also from Divina Cosmetics. This one is part of their Galaxy Dust Shifters and I love this shade. Such a beautiful everyday multi-chrome. I can see from my angle, it's pretty different. I see a lot of like a pink magenta, but it does have a similar warm brown base, but pretty different. Next up is carving and I already know this one's not going to be that similar because it's it's for sure a bit more on the sheer side and I think that from my angle it's actually more similar to this shadow right here which was Frozen Waves from Davina um, in terms of the base color being purple. I see a bit more purple from my angle. It's got a little bit of similarity to the Pat McGrath shade but not much. Next up is X12 and this one is from Burnovich. I can already tell this one's not going to be too too similar either. It's got a bit more sheerness to it and it's rather a yellowy brown base versus a reddish brown. So it's pretty different. Next up is Zigzag. This one is from Glam Shop. I think this one has quite a bit of potential. 
it's, I don't think the texture is similar. It uh, definitely has a lot more of a pinky reddish reflex from my angle, but it is a little bit similar and I will show you like all the shifts um, once I have them all swatched out. Second to last is Grisaille and this one is from Cleona. I believe this is a glitter multi-chrome. Um, this one has way more purple in it, but a similar reddish brown base, maybe a little bit magenta. And lastly is Messier and this one is from Davina. I thought this one was going to be a lot more similar. And this one also has that warm base to it, but I think it's a little bit more blue reflecting. All right, I had to pull out a bit to be able to show all the shades. But this kind of gives you an idea of all the different undertones, the shifts, as well as the shine level between all of these. I had to do one more comparison of the closest shades. So at the top is the Pat McGrath shade, then Solstice from Urban Decay, then Mystic Moon Pie from Davina Cosmetics, and then Messier from Davina Cosmetics. I think Messier is the closest. I do think Mystic Moon Pie is shinier than Messier, but I think tone-wise, color-wise, base-wise, I think Messier takes the cake. So I'm going to compare that one on the lid to the Pat McGrath shade. So I put on the mattes and I use this one in the crease and then this one on the outer corner. And now I'm going to be applying the shimmers. So I'm going to put the Pat McGrath shadow here and the Davina Cosmetics shadow on this one. I'm going to be using Fernie Pixie Poxy because these shadows are just extra sparkly and I want something for them to stick down to and also to avoid too, too much fallout. So I like to put on just the tiniest amount and I'm going to do it one eye at a time. I'm gonna be using the Refer 28 brush, which is a little bit of a toothier flat brush. And just put that all over where I put down the glitter primer. Such a beautiful shadow. I cannot get enough of these kind of blue, brown, green, brown types of shadows. I really feel like they're staples. I would definitely recommend, if you're into neutrals, you gotta have one shadow like this just as a go-to. Onto the second eye. I'm gonna be using the same brush, but I wiped it off and I'm gonna be using this side of it. So here is Messier from Davina. I can tell a little bit of a difference already, just putting them on. This one's less PC, more smooth. I think it has a little bit of a different effect on the lid. It looks more blue to me then this one the greenish blue reflect is just a bit more subtle so that makes me wonder if mystic moon pie would have been actually better because it is so green okay i'm gonna i'm just gonna take this off and we're gonna go in with mystic moon pie because i'm just too curious now but for your reference here is pat mcgrath and here's davina messier And here they are together. So I just redid this eye completely and I'm gonna go in with some Fernie Pixie Epoxy just like on the other eye. I'm taking a clean Refer 28 brush, here's proof. And I'm picking up Mystic Moon Pie from Davina Cosmetics. Oh, it's so pretty. I think I'm gonna be using this shadow tomorrow. Not that Messier wasn't pretty, but this one ha definitely has a bit more sparkle. And I think you can even tell just in the pan between this one and Messier. I'm going to take this brush, this blending brush, and just feather at the edges. What do you think? I think that they're a little bit closer in. I think sparkle-wise, they're right on par with each other. And this shadow is only $8. It is currently sold out, unfortunately, at the time I'm filming this, but I will link it down below. Here's another look at Pat McGrath. A little bit more of the shift. And here's Mystic Moon Pie. The more I look at my eyes, I really feel like they're so similar that I really feel like this is a great alternate option. It's not completely the same tone. Definitely a little bit more green on this one going on. So I think between this one and Messier, like I think you'll be all set, keeping in mind that Messier does not have the same texture, but of course you might just be looking for a color dupe. But if you're looking for texture and color, then it's gotta be Mystic Moon Pie, just the closest. I mean, they look 
wet on the lid. They're super, super shiny, but really smooth. If I was to walk into Shaw's right now, nobody would be like, oh, she has two different shimmer shadows on. You know what I mean? Like they're close enough. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time.